Potiphar's house is a very important season in Joseph's life. Because this is where Joseph learns or his character is tested and he learns to serve. The problem with the church today is that we are too big. Great men don't feed their ego, they swallow their pride. If you are too big to do the small things, then you are too small to do the big things. Perhaps the reason you are where you are is because you have failed some character tests. Joseph had enough resolve and enough content within him and reserve of character to look at Potiphar's wife and say no. And say no. We need more Josephs in the house. We need more Josephs in the kingdom, in the church, in our community because we live in a generation that is plagued with the scarcity of accountability, of integrity, of responsibility, of character. You are looking for how many followers you have on Facebook and Instagram but you are not following God. God does not promote you because you are famous. He promotes you because you are faithful. God does not... Oh. Listen, listen, God does not reward charisma, he rewards character. Character, very important. Could it be possible the reason why you have not graduated is because you have failed the character test? It takes the fruit of the spirit to keep you where the gift of the spirit has placed you. Character. The true measure of a man is under pressure. I heard a preacher once say something. He said, the collapse of character begins with compromise. Not everything with wings is an eagle. Test them by the height of your character. Not everything with wings is an eagle. Test them by the height of your character. How high can you go? How much pressure can you handle? Now, now I, I don't have a little, a lot of people shouting here because this is the test. The test of character. Look at somebody and say character. <laughs> I, I, see, if you pass this test of character, do you know, look, look at this church, look at this. Oh, Jesus. If Joseph said yes to Potiphar's house, to Potiphar's wife, he would have remained Potiphar's servant when he was destined to be Potiphar's boss. He would have stayed in Potiphar's house when he was destined for a throne. Perhaps you are in a house and you think this is where it is and God says no. If you can pass the character test, I will move you from a house to a throne. Come on, come on. Somebody's about to move to another level and God sent me down here to tell you, pass the character test. Come on, come on, come on. Jesus. <laughs> Pass the character test. I was talking to my wife and I said, do you know that Potiphar's house was just a transition? And I told her, never make a layover a sleepover. Never make a layover or a stopover a sleepover. Because this is just transition. Don't make your transition your destination. This is just transition. You are destined for a throne, not just a house. You are destined to be Potiphar's boss, not Potiphar's servant. So we know the story. He was falsely accused and he found himself in prison. Everybody say prison. prison. Come on. Everybody say prison. prison. I like the word prison and I call it pre-season. Because this was the final step 
of a season before before he entered into his destiny before he entered into what god had called him for 